Hello students, how are you? Welcome to science class. Students, I hope you have understood previous chapter in biology that is nutrition in plants and also completed all the activities and notes also. Right? Okay. So students, today I am going to explain chapter 3 in chemistry, fiber to fabric okay get ready with a notebook children to take down some important points while I'm explaining here and also the textbook learning objectives so in this lesson we are going to learn about the characteristics of wool processing of wool that is production of wool animals that yield wool, life cycle of silk moth, stages of production in sericulture, sericulture means the production of silk and the rearing of silk worms and the diseases that affect the workers of the sericulture industry. Yes children in earlier class we have learnt about the clothes we wear is made up of variety of fabric right okay clothing is one of the basic needs of life isn't it it protects us from dust insect bites and also different kinds of weather conditions the type of fabric we wear depends upon the climate of the place we live in like in summer thin light colored cotton cloths are preferred why because cotton allows movement of air and absorbs sweat light colored clothes absorb less heat then coming to winter in winter thick dark colored woolen cloths are preferred because wool traps our body heat and prevents it from escaping and dark colored clothes absorb heat and keep us warm importance of clothes as we discussed clothes can insulate against cold or hot conditions they can provide a hygienic barrier keeping infections and toxic away from the body they protect us from ultraviolet radiations and they help you to look nice and decent right students just go through this image once okay students here is a mind map fibers a material which is available in a form of thin and continuous strand is called fiber so there are two types of fiber one is natural fiber and the other is synthetic fibers so in natural fibers we have two types like plant fibers and animal fibers the fibers which are obtained from plants are called plant fibers example cotton jute etc the fiber which are obtained from animals is called animal fiber example wool and silk and coming to synthetic fiber synthetic fiber is nothing but man made fibers example nylon rayon and so on common animal fiber as we know the common animal fibers are wool and silk wool is obtained from sheep goat alpaca york camel and llama same way silk is also obtained from silkworm wool 
Wool is a fiber that we get mainly from the fleece of sheep. But we also get it from the hairs of goat, camels and rabbits. Right? So students, which part of the sheep body is fiber? And how are these fibers converted into woolen yarn that we buy from market to knit sweater? Come, let us explore this. So students, tell me that where do we get wool for woolen clothes? Yes, as we discussed before, we get our wool from sheep, goat, york and even some other animals. Right? Yes, wool yielding animals bear a thick coat of hair on their body. And these hairs trap a lot of air. And already we know that air is a poor conductor of heat. So it does not allow the temperature of the bodies of these animals to fall. Thus, hair keep these animals warm. Students, we come to know that wool is obtained from sheep, yak, etc. And did you know that every sheep has two kind of hairs? Yes children, the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers that forms its fleece. The one is coarse outer guard hair and the other is soft woolly undercoat hairs. Selective breeding. Students, what is selective breeding? Come, let us discuss now. Selective breeding is a method that has been practiced for many hundreds of years. Why? To get plants or animals with desired characteristics. See, in this method, two plants or animals with a specific characteristic are selected to produce half spring. For example, wild sheep have two types of hairs on their bodies. You know that? Yes, you can view this image. Coarse longer hair and soft shorter hair near the skin. And selective breeding is done to get sheep with long and soft hair. The fleece of sheep is not only the source of wool students. There are other animals also that yield wool. York. York wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Next coming to Angora goat. Angora wool is obtained from Angora goat and as well as Angora rabbit. Angora goats are found in the hilly region such as Jammu and Kashmir. The Angora rabbit is a variety of domestic rabbit breed for its long soft wool. Then coming to Kashmiri goat. The under fur of Kashmiri goat is soft. It is woven into fine shawls called Pashmina shawls which is famous in Jammu and Kashmir. Camel wool is a type of fabric derived from the coats of camels. This type of fabric is more commonly known as camel hair and it is usually derived from a camel subspecies known as the bacterian camel. Even camel has two components like one is guard hair and undercoat hair rearing of sheep. In India, sheep are reared in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu 
and Uttarachal. The bulk of wool that is produced in India is coarse and is used to manufacture hand knitted carpets. Several varieties of sheep are reared in India. And some of these are listed in the table. You can view the image. Students, in this table, they have given some Indian breeds of sheep. Like name of the breed is Bakarwal. And the use of wool are like woolen shawls. And state where they are found is Jammu and Kashmir. Next coming to Lohi. It is a good quality wool found in Rajasthan and Punjab. Marwari. It is a coarse wool and found in Rajasthan and Gujarat. Nalli. It is a good carpet quality found in Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Patanwadi, it is a fine wool meant for hosiery and found in Gujarat. Next last is Chokla, it is a very good carpet wool which is found in Rajasthan. Students, please take down this table in your classwork, science classwork. So students, in the next class, we will discuss about production of wool, life cycle of silk moth, sericulture and production of silk and so on. Just go through the recording once again and note down important points children. Read the textbook. Okay. Take care. Thank you students.